part of today's video where I talk about today's partner. Today I'm partnering with Cozy Earth. I am super excited to talk about this brand, this company, because I love working with them. Currently I'm in their pajama set and I love it. It is so cozy. Cozy Earth is a premium bedding and loungewear company. Their products naturally wick moisture, which means they reduce humidity and regulate your body temperature. So I don't know about you guys, but I tend to sleep really, really toasty at night and it gets super uncomfortable that I end up waking up a million times from being so hot. And so I was so excited to try Cozy Earth's pajamas. I've heard that they help you when you sleep to regulate your temperature and I I can confirm that this is true when I tried them out. They are amazing. I didn't have any complaints about my temperature when I was sleeping last night, which is a big deal because like I said, I sleep really hot regularly. All of their products are made from super soft, this case from Highly Sustainable Bamboo. I wish that you could feel through the camera, but they are just the coziest. Use my code BECCA30 to get 30% off your purchase. You can also use the link in the description and the discount code will be automatically applied to your order. Don't forget to twin with me and have matching PJs. I am also super excited about their bed sheets. Also, can we just talk about this packaging? This is the cutest packaging I've ever seen. And these are the bed sheets that are also temperature regulating. Basically, I'm going to be getting the best sleep of my life, which is super important in nursing school. Essentially, we've got the fitted sheet, the flat sheet. I don't know which is which right now. And then also some pillowcases. I'm very excited to try Cozy Earth out for my sheets as well because I already am so obsessed with the PJs. And then also if this is the navy color, so if you want to twin with me, you can shop this exact color. But they also have some new colors for spring. They have the lilac and the powder blue that are perfect for spring. Thank you again to Cozy Earth for partnering with me on today's video and don't forget to click the link in the description to get a discount or use my code. Now back to the vlog. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you saw by the title of today's video, I'm doing a clinicals day in my life. I know I filmed this like last week as well, but I wasn't super happy with the way it turned out. I don't know, it was kind of boring. So I'm trying to make this one a little bit more informative and exciting. As you saw, I got ready for my clinical day and now I am going to clinicals for six hours. My start time is eight and then I go home at two. Also, if you're new, I'm in an accelerated RNBSM program. I'm in my third semester of four. In this semester of 15 weeks, we do four weeks of mental health rotations. So I went to a mental health hospital for four weeks and then we do four weeks of community health, which I'm currently in. Some people in my cohort were placed at uh, school districts, clinics, urgent cares, home health, hospice, just different community areas. And so I got placed in a clinic and I really, really love it. I love the population that I work with. I love all of the people that I'm around, like all my preceptors and all of the other coworkers at the clinic. It's kind of fun because it almost starts to feel like your job because you're just there so much and with the same people at the clinic. So it's really fun in that way. Today actually happens to be my last clinical of nursing school actually because I go to simulation lab for the next four weeks so this is my last day like going to clinicals other than my capstone which is going to be next semester but yeah kind of exciting I can't believe it I've done so many clinicals and spent hundreds of hours at hospitals so I am I'm ready to kind of end it, but it's been super fun. Today, I'm going to be going to the clinic from eight to two. The reason I come home at two is because I have post-conference via Zoom, because like I said, we're all in different places for our, our clinicals this semester. And so we all get on to Zoom at like 2.30, and then we have our post-conference. And today I'm actually presenting, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I have a whole like presentation that I've put together for my post-conference group. And I always get a little anxious before presentations and things but should be good. I practiced yesterday with Tanner 
and it went well so we'll see how it goes and then I just have a couple different other things tonight so I just felt like it'd be kind of a fun day to do a vlog don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I will talk to you guys a little bit later I'm currently on my way to clinicals hi vlog it's going well just a lot of triaging and meeting with patients it is currently 11 16 but yeah it's been a good day clinicals are going well and just a few more hours here hello vlog so it is 2 19 just got home from clinicals i have to get onto a zoom post-conference call in about 10 minutes i also have to get myself ready for my presentation and eat a little bit because i haven't eaten today very much so i gotta do all the things and then i'll try to keep you updated and i'm feeling nervous to present but it is what it is it'll be okay that is the update right now but my last clinical at the clinic was really good. You know, bittersweet because it's sad, but also it's like exciting to keep going in things. So. Just wrapped up post-conference and that is usually my community rotations were Tuesday and Wednesday. And so on Wednesday is when we had virtual post-conference, but that was my last one. So kind of crazy, exciting. Today it was from 2.30 to 4. It's fine. Like post-conference is always pretty long. I mean, it's good to learn from your peers and their experiences and things like that. So my presentation went well, which I am grateful for because I always get super nervous before presenting. Just now four i need to take a shower and then i need to eat like lunch because i haven't eaten lunch and then i will get back to you hello vlog it is 4 24 and i just got out of the shower and i made myself some food because like i said i haven't had a real meal today so I'm feeling very very hungry this is what we've got pasta and bread this was leftovers last night from like a little meal that we had this is the time of the day where i'm going to literally watch a show and eat my food because if i've learned anything during nursing school it's that you need to take care of your mind and you need to make sure that you are taking care of yourself this is my form of self-care i love throwing on a show and just absolutely doing nothing don't forget to do this because i know i talk about it a lot in my vlogs but in first semester i did not take care of my brain and i didn't take care of my mental health and it was it was not good just make sure you are taking care of yourself and dedicating time in your day especially after a long clinical or after a long study session because after i eat i'm going to study pretty much for the next few hours. That is my little tip and that's what I'm about to do. It is 4.43 and I have a little service thing that I'm doing tonight from 7 to probably like 8, 8.30. With the two hours that I have, I'm going to be sitting here and studying super super fun this is what i'm gonna be doing for the next few hours because i have class tomorrow and i need to re-understand material that i learned last week so that i can learn more and not be behind that's what i'm gonna be working on today probably for the next two hours and then i'll just go do the service thing and then i'll come back and do more studying until tanner gets back from work because he's working tonight this is the life caught up in my lectures and i mean there's still obviously a lot that i need to study but it is nice that i was able to get through a few re-listening to lectures and then i also got some other like personal things taken care of such as like calling my insurance and just random errands that i put off but can do from my phone i've just been sitting here and now it is six 32. I am going to quickly do my hair and put on some makeup and then I'll probably have to run over to my volunteering thing. That is the update for now so I'm gonna go into the bathroom and get ready. is 8 11 i'm just getting back from my volunteering well it's more like service i don't know volunteering service thing that i was just doing it's through my church i'm one of the leaders for like a group of girls so they do like little activities a few times a month super cute super fun i'm just getting back from that i am now going to get into my pajamas and my camera's about to die but I'm gonna get into some cozies and then I will talk to you then because now I have to charge my camera for a little bit.
All right, so I'm definitely in my pajamas. I feel like maybe just since being married or maybe since being in nursing school, I don't know, or a combo of both. I tend to get into comfy clothes and be laying in my bed around nine or 10, sometimes eight, I will admit, but I tend to not stay out super, super late these days. I just want to be home. I'm more of a homebody to be honest. So if you ever met me or see me meet me in person, I'm actually very shy. It takes me a second to warm up to people. So it's just very interesting that way. But anyways, yeah, I am a homebody and I would prefer like staying home and watching movies than going to a party. I'm actually going to take my makeup off and then I'm going to spend my evening studying some more until Tanner gets home. I'm gonna go get unready for the day. bed and i'm actually gonna wrap up this vlog because this was a day in my life i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and join the fam and i will see you all in my next video i hope that it was informational to you and that you were able to take something away from it maybe get a better idea of a day in the life of a nursing student that is all that i have for you today and i will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye guys